Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stevie J from Wrestling Observer and Glove Up or Shut Up, and here's what happened on the UFC Fight Pass card from Berlin, Germany earlier today. Ruslan Magomedov beat Victor Pesta in a heavyweight bout, winning 29-28 across the board. At featherweight, Maximo Blanco defeated Andy Ogle, also 29-28 across the board. At welterweight, Peter Savada beat Paolo Pollock, 30-27 across the board for the third straight decision of the UFC Fight Pass prelims. Then at Bantamweight, Yuri Alcantara finished Vaughn Lee very quickly, 25 seconds into the first round by TKO. At Middleweight, Magnus Senenblav defeated Christoph Jocko by guillotine choke at 4.59. One second left in the second round, he got the job done. And in the main event of the prelim fights, Nick Hine defeated Drew Dober, 29-28 times 2 and 30-27, and was very popular in Germany as a result. He even cut the post-fight promo in German. Then we moved on to the main card, where Nicholas Backstrom defeated Tom Ninamaki in a, well, a plus 225 or so upset via choke at 415 of the first round. Then Sean Strickland defeated Luke Barnott in a very controversial split decision, getting the scores of 28-29, 30-27 and 29-28 in a fight that I had Barnett winning two, if not three, out of all of the rounds. So, most of the people on Twitter also thought this was a robbery, that Luke Barnett should have won this fight, and that 30-27, the judge that thinks that Sean Strickland won all three rounds, is absolutely freaking insane. But at least there was no controversy with the co-main event. The judges got this one right, all scoring it for C.B. Dalloway. Two of them had it 30-27, and one had it 29-28, but they all had him beating Francis Carmont, which I agree with because Dalloway out-wrestled him for most of the fight. And then in our main event, Gigar Musasi quickly took apart Mark Munoz and got a rear naked choke to finish him off at 3.57 of the first round. We'll be back later with more fights from Brazil.